I have 10 hours left in Bali and I'm booked and busy, honey. Come along. So I started off going to the spa because you just can't go to Bali without going to the spa. Like, come on. So I got a lymphatic drainage massage done. It was oh, it was so relaxing. Like I was butt naked up on there. Um, oh, my God. Then she gave me the best ginger tea. Bali has the best teas. If you go like, please, like get the teas, get the coffees. They're so delicious. So amazing. I have a video talking about going to like a whole farm place where they make all this anyways afterwards I was like well obviously I have to get a piercing before I leave I was checking out a bunch of different earrings couldn't decide between those three um but once I made the decision you know he picked the little you know things where he was gonna pierce it and then I you know stuck the needle in it was terrifying even though I have 13 other piercings this is my 14th so I shouldn't have been scared but you know it gets like that it's it's a freaking needle I didn't want to get an infection. So you can see I have like a little paper towel in between my ear and the helmet because I was like, I'm also not going to not wear a helmet. I had up C's one more time because she said she had a citrine ring. I ended up passing on it because the stone was a little darker than the other citrine I got that on this trip that I showed you guys. Anyways, I contemplated getting a tattoo. Oh, girl, I can't even talk. I contemplated getting a tattoo for like five minutes and I was like, actually, let me not. I've already endured enough pain. So instead, I tried these little like chip thingies from the store that are like local to Indonesia or Asia or something. They were pretty good. Def recommend. Then afterwards, I went to another side of town to do some window shopping. And then I was like, girl, this has been a lot. It's been so many hours. Let me sit down, read a book, have a pastry. And then what like literally one of the highlights of my whole Asia trip I went to this restaurant that's like a really big sushi place in Bali. I was the first one there because I had a flight to catch in a little bit. And it was just me and the chef. We were just talking. He was telling me about his culinary experience, influences, crafted like all of these different things for me based off of the sushi that I really love. And it was just a great time. Got to see one last Bali sunset. Oh my gosh, the best sunsets in the world. And I just sat by the pool saw the moon, saw the sunset, and then headed to my flight. Goodbye, Bali.